Well, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy announcing a historic clemency initiative that he says would wipe the criminal convictions of thousands. All right, he says he purposely chose Juneteenth to make this announcement as it's a day that celebrates freedom. Fox News Antoine Lewis live in the newsroom with the details. Antoine. Steve, a point the governor and his staff addressed this morning when acknowledging that this type and this need for criminal justice reform predominantly affects New Jersey's black and brown communities. Take a listen. Here in New Jersey, receiving a pardon or having your sentence commuted was not a matter of either fairness or objectivity. It was a matter of who you knew. But that will no longer be the case, says New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy. Murphy announced a new initiative that will potentially clear the criminal records of thousands in the Garden State. The mass clemency program will review applications to determine eligibility depending upon the conviction. If your crime was committed under the age of 25, uh, and then you've stayed clean since, and so that's that would that would you'd be eligible for expedited review in, in this new system. Incredibly powerful. Some applicants will be prioritized. These include victims of domestic or sexual violence or sex trafficking who retaliated against their perpetrators, as well as people who are serving sentences that are considered excessive given the crime. Murphy made the announcement from St. James AME Church in Newark. He was joined by rapper Meek Mill, whose conviction for probation violation was overturned by the Pennsylvania Supreme Court in 2018. And these issues right now are catered to black and brown, but anyone caught in the system in those situations, uh, you could be any color you wanted to. A six-member advisory board will consider all applications and make recommendations to the governor. To forgive someone is to free someone. And just like the forgiveness in our own lives, Clemency, whether it be pardon or commutation, is transformational. This will take a little bit of time to get up on its feet. I would be plus or minus six months from now to see a first batch, and I would hope then that this would be an ongoing, more likely batches than ones and twos, uh, but to be determined, and the board will obviously take that under consideration. Now, Governor Murphy has yet to sign off on any clemency orders during his six and a half years in office, so this is a first for him. He did authorize the release of inmates that were prone to COVID transmissions during the height of the pandemic. That's the very latest from the newsroom. Stephen, back upstairs to you. All right. Thanks, Antoine.